I'm live here with Hunter Myers of Verdure Design Co. Welcome, Hunter. Hi, I'm so glad to be here and kind of talking to you and yeah. meeting everybody. Thanks for coming in. So the first question I always ask is to tell us what you do and how you help people. Yeah, so I run a graphic design business. Um, I work a lot with women entrepreneurs, though I do work with men as well. My focus is more on women. Um, and I really help them develop out brands that are consistent. Um, so the thing that I'm kind of transitioning my business into is long-term brand partnerships mm -hmm. with people. So like if we develop your brand or if you already have a brand developed, what we can do is kind of grow that over months or years, that way you're really kind of developing into this larger identity. And because I know a lot of us are kind of starting out small and we're really ready to take it to that next level. And those are the people that I help. I love it. That's so important too, if you're ever planning to sell your business eventually, oh, to have yeah. all that, those professional assets. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Huge. So you haven't always been an entrepreneur. So how did you get that spirit and get going? Yeah. So I, this is a bit of a long story, so I'll, I'll keep it as yeah. short as I can, but I actually, so I've been doing art for as long as I can remember, um, illustration, all the art classes I could possibly take. Mm -hmm. um, but in college, I went for English and sociology because I thought mm -hmm. I was going to be a writer. And when I moved down to Texas, I applied for like all the writing jobs mm -hmm. I could possibly find and received no after no after no. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm about to be one of those people that doesn't use my degree. Like, am I going to be able to find a job? And I found a graphic design position. And I was like, well, like, another no's not going to hurt me. Like, I'll go ahead and apply. And they called me in. I was like, you are kidding. And I wound up getting the position. And so I was with that marketing company for about three years. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for an out, but it's really, really scary to jump ship when you don't have a plan. Mm -hmm. um, but fortunately I was furloughed and kind of pushed off the ship. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, let me just figure this out. And when I started with the marketing company, I was a contract worker anyways. Mm -hmm. So I kind of understood the logistics of you know, getting clients and you know the taxes and everything. So I was like, well, like, I wonder if I can just do this on my own. Like, I'll just give this a shot. If I can't, like, I'll find another job somewhere. It's fine. And I've been running my business since and love absolutely it. love it. Yeah, I'm on track. Um, this year to make as much as I made in my last ah, job. Yay. Yeah. So it's always a milestone. I know, yes. I know. And it feels, it feels so, so good. And the thing that I love most is like, I get to work with the people I want to work with. Mm -hmm. So in an agency, I mean, you're whatever clients they hand you, those are the clients that you work with. Yeah. And so it's really, really cool to kind of have some control over that, to have you control to over people. my, exactly. Mm -hmm. I get to vet them. Um, I get to have control over my growth mm -hmm. as well, where it's like, I don't have to go ask someone for permission to take a course mm -hmm. or to go to a conference. It's like, if I want to do it, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And, and same with like, um, you know, monetary goals and stuff. Like I don't have a salary cap. Like I can figure all of that out myself and it's, it's been a very beautiful experience. Like I have, I have loved it. Now don't get me wrong. Like there are some, some scary, yes. some scary parts, but I've really, really enjoyed it. Well, that's true with everything. Like in any career, or any business, there's always going to be the ups and downs. There's always going to be the things you love and the things that you don't love oh, so yeah. much. Oh but yeah. At least you have the freedom and ability to kind of choose how your day looks. Exactly. So. Exactly. So what's really the passion that drives you for design? So I've always, again, been a visual a visual creator like and, and storyteller too I remember when I was younger um, I would make like little books all the time and I would illustrate them and there'd be like I liked writing as well but mm -hmm. I just like I vividly remember and I would do scrapbooks and, like anything anything visual um, I've, I've always always loved that mm -hmm. and then also like combining that with my passion to help women in mm -hmm. business has been huge so the marketing company that I worked at previously a lot of our clients were um, wealthier white men mm -hmm. and I was like okay wait a second <laughs> like we need we need to be helping you know lift women up and like women owned businesses are just as important and what can we do and learning that a solid brand is a lot of the time what helps catapult a business forward once it gets past those opening phases. Yeah. I mean, in the opening phases, learn how to sell, right? Um, you know, learn what service you want to offer, like all of that. But once you're past that, building your brand is going to be what gives you that longevity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so really getting to help help people with that is, that is so, so fun. I love that. And I love that you've been able to niche down so much. I mean, you know, I'm a big fan of niche oh, down, yeah. but oh, yeah. you know, being able to help women, so in alignment with what we do too. So what have been some of your biggest struggles or challenges along the journey? Yeah. So I feel like a lot of it is just kind of fear because mm. it's, it's completely You're your own oh, enemy there. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like it's completely unknown. It's very foreign. Um, and you just have to like trust yourself. And this, again, one of the beautiful things about this is like the amount of trust and confidence I have gained mm. through the process, but it was hard. Mm -hmm. Like it was not, it was not easy. Um, you know, there are, I do have a wonderful support system where there are days where I'm like, 
hey, can someone can someone remind me that I could actually do this? Yes. Um, and that feels good. Like it feels good to have that. Um, but yeah, like I think overcoming fear, getting used to being uncomfortable mm-hmm. and knowing that that's not a bad thing. Yeah. So I think learning that was definitely difficult in the beginning, but now it's something I lean into. There are still things that I struggle with on a regular basis. Um, I mean, because design is where my background is now at. Mm-hmm. But as a business owner, I mean, you have to do everything. Yes. And so, you know, sales is sometimes tough for me. And don't get me wrong, like I love talking to people, yeah. but it's a different kind of mm-hmm. conversation. Um, so that's been a struggle as well, which if anyone is struggling with sales, like I definitely recommend like hiring someone to help you. Yeah. If that is not your expertise, if you're, if you're someone who's like, oh, I hate sales, blah, 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 like hi- hire a coach, hire a sales coach in particular who mm-hmm. can teach you you know, what to say and Mm -hmm. how to overcome objections and get used to saying your numbers. Like that was a huge thing. I was like, oh my gosh, like I've not, I've never asked for money like this before. And it's like, wait, I have to, like, these are my numbers. These are my rates and it's okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think, I think those would probably be, I mean, there was a a, quite a, quite a big handful, but some of the basic struggles for sure. I love that. That's great advice too. So you have a really unique approach to how you do design. So can you talk a little bit about what makes you unique when people work with you? Yeah. So a lot of the time I feel like people can be a little nervous when they find out that my degree is not in design. Mm. Um, But what I really like to tell people is because I have a degree in English and sociology, I am far better equipped to communicate with you, to understand what you're specifically needing and what your audience needs, Mm -hmm. Um, being able to convert kind of the information that you share with me into a visual story. Mm -hmm. Um, So I really love leveraging those pieces and kind of understanding too, like through the sociology aspect, like how people interact in groups, which is very like, I mean, that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're interacting with a group of customers, you're interacting with an audience. Um, So that's all been very, very helpful. Um, Through my process, I really love diving into, again, the strategy behind things, Mm -hmm. the stories, making sure that what we're building for you and your business is serving a purpose. You know, I feel like a lot of people can fall into this this trap of making something that's beautiful, but then doesn't align with the goals that you're Mm -hmm. trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. And so really sitting down, honing in on what you're looking to do, where you're wanting to go, not just next year, but five to 10 years from now, because again, I'm working on these long-term partnerships and relationships with you. Like, I want you to be successful. That is like my number one goal is that you are successful. And so to do that, let me help you kind of build out that visual side of your business um, through, like I said, the storytelling and the strategy. And I love that. that. And you do, you take an approach where you do a lot of like done in a day type things. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So one of my favorite services is design in a day services. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have noticed that some people don't need a designer full time, mm-hmm. especially when you're when you're kind of in those beginning stages. But having a designer come in and help you with a couple of things is very, very useful mm-hmm. because it makes you look more professional. It gives you the confidence to kind of put yourself out there because you look more professional. Um, so what I offer are these days. So they're kind of VIP design in a day um, where you get my undivided attention. I only work on your projects from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And before before the day, we sit down and we figure out, okay, like what are the things you wanna work on? What do I need in hand before 10 a.m. on your start Mm -hmm. day? That way we can crank out as much as we possibly can. I mean, I've had, oh my gosh, I've had clients who we've knocked out social media templates, we've knocked out um, some advertisements, we've knocked out like creating out a logo suite Mm -hmm. for her because she already had a logo. And we went ahead and built out like more pieces yeah. to it. So she wasn't kind of trapped in just one thing. Um, built websites, like all kinds of things can be done in a day. And um, have had great results. You know, mm-hmm. people are really, really excited. And the other thing that's so wonderful about it is you're not sitting around waiting forever for your projects to be done. Because mm-hmm. if you do kind of a more traditional style, you know, it's, it's two to three weeks before you get things in hand. So if you're in a crunch, the design in a day is the perfect way to get your projects done, Mm -hmm. to get a professional eye on your work Mm -hmm. and to kind of have some ease about it. Well, and you asked that they're there with you, right? So Mm -hmm. that you, you're cutting down that back and forth time on communication. And so do they typically, they kind of have their own thing they're working on, but also are engaging with you. Yeah. So what I do is I, I just tell people, you know, make sure that you are available Mm -hmm. because the longer it takes you to respond to me, the less we're going to be able to get done Mm -hmm. in the day. And so I'll send over drafts like, Hey, like let's hop on a quick zoom real quick. Let me walk you through this. What, what would you like change? Okay, perfect. Let's make those quick tweaks. 
sweet next project mm -hmm. okay like same yeah. same process and i found it i found it to be really really helpful to kind of set that standard yeah. like you need you need to be available because again the communication like i said when you have those two to three week timelines mm -hmm. of communication i mean that can drag it out to months yeah and then everyone like the designer is frustrated and you are frustrated yeah. and the people who need your project are frustrated exactly. and so this is a really great way to kind of ease a lot of that again get you your stuff fast mm -hmm. get it professionally done um you know i've been doing this long enough that i can work very quickly yeah. which is is nice yeah. for these design in the days because again we can we can crank through a lot of right. your projects right mm -hmm. i love that and it, i feel like it also it allows you to kind of show off that it's, it's about your expertise too and not just like you know by the hour it's like you know we mm -hmm. can we can get maybe one really amazing thing done in this amount of time, or maybe we can get 10 things. It just depends on the thing, it exactly. depends on the feedback and all of that. And so it's not really so much about the amount of items or the hours as yes. it is about the quality and you know that interaction. Exactly, so. and something that I, I always tell people too, like in the beginning, let's create a list of all, like let's anything you could possibly want help with, right. let's get it on this list and then let's sit there and prioritize it. Right. What are the most important? And then if there are some things that are very important, but I know they're going to take me more time, but then you've got something lower down on the list that yeah. I feel like, okay, like I can get this done in, in maybe right. 30 minutes. Well, I'm going to shift that up yeah. or while I'm waiting for you to respond to me, right. work on something. go ahead and work on feedback. this. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. So it's, it's really, really nice to have that list and kind of work through that with, mm -hmm. with the client. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So, you are a busy woman, like we all are, right? <laughs> right. So what does that work-life, self-care alignment look like for you? Yeah, so it, it really took me a while to get into the swing of that, mm -hmm. where I feel like for the longest time I had this notion in my head that, well, I need to be at my desk from 9 to 5 or I'm not. I'm not professional. Isn't that silly it that is, we have that? Is, we can make our own hours. I you know. still have this like strange time. It is it is so it is so funny to me. And so like really working through that where I found, okay, like I work better when I start between like 9 30 and 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where I'm gonna start. And then yeah. I realize, okay, like I hit a lull at a certain time. So at and that point. Yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna sit here because I, oh my gosh, like I think about when I worked in the office and it was like, okay, like when three o'clock rolls around and I'm just like, what do I do yeah. with myself? And I'm like, I'm, I'm wasting everybody's time and money right now. Yeah. Like I could be, I could be off doing something mm -hmm. that makes me happy. Or again, that kind of adds that, that alignment or balance mm -hmm. to my life. I've been riding my bike a lot. Yeah. So it's like, oh, like if I feel like doing something and that's again, what I love so much about getting to make my own schedule. Yes is as long as the work is getting done. You can take the healthy break. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And it's so, so nice. So 10 out of 10 recommend, you know, if you're, especially if you're doing your own thing, find what works for you. Mm -hmm. Like it is, it is not cookie cutter. We all like to act, especially here in America, in my personal opinion, we like <laughs> to act like the correct way to do it is yeah. nine to five in a salaried office. And that's not, that's not true. Mm -hmm. And don't beat yourself up if you work 10, 10 to two. If ten to two mm -hmm. is what works for you, then by golly, do ten to two. Yeah, yeah. So I really, I really enjoy kind of learning that about myself. And and again, it's all been an experiment. And that's and that's one thing that I really try to remind myself is entrepreneurship is just a big science experiment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We come up with Probably a hypothesis. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Okay, let me try this next thing. Um, and so kind of going into it with that discovery mindset. Yes. Eases, that grace for yourself. Yes, it gives mm -hmm. you it gives you the grace. It eases a lot of the frustration or the fear mm -hmm. of the imposter syndrome that kind of comes up. It's like, no, like my job right now is to figure out what works for me. Exactly. And it kind of also like it brings this childlike energy back. Yes, a yeah. playfulness that feels so good that I feel like we kind of squander a lot in corporate America. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, really, yeah, really I enjoy that. that. <laughs> Well, so you've been a bee for a while now, since pretty much since you moved back, right? Yeah. You that, right when you moved back. Um, so how do you feel that the Hive has helped you personally and professionally? So the Hive has been huge for building a support group. So again, like I, I moved here, didn't really know too many people. Um, and so getting involved with the Hive and getting to meet other like-minded women, especially because again, like I'm all about like having my community of women. <laughs> um, it has been so, so nice to know that I can lean on these people, to know that I can get feedback from these people, um, to know that I can work with these people also. And the fact that this is a community where I feel safe to, to talk about anything I need to talk about with people, you know, I know there's kind of this 
oh my gosh, this kind of stereotype that women can be catty mm -hmm. when we get in large groups. And I love that there's like, I don't feel that vibe at all here. Like mm -hmm. everyone's like, like, what do you need help with? Okay, here, let me help you. Or, Hey, I know someone who, who I can introduce you to. And like that community and networking is just so beautiful mm -hmm. to be a part of. And it's comforting and it's warm and inviting. And that's like, it, it has helped make me feel at home here in Wichita, Aww. which is really, really nice. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. So well said. <laughs> a fellow writer to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so what insight might you give to somebody at the beginning of their entrepreneurial journey? Yeah. So the biggest, I feel like the biggest piece of advice that I would give is don't look at everyone else's journey because yours will not be the same. That was one of my biggest mistakes in the beginning as I was looking at all these other designers and trying to mimic what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I don't, I don't feel me. Like I don't feel authentic about this. Mm -hmm. And I really, really struggled to show up in my business. Mm -hmm. And so do, do what feels right for you. And again, play with it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You, you are going to fail. Like there are going to be things where you mess up and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. And there are going to be huge successes too. And there's also going to be small successes. Mm -hmm. You know, each, each step you take, whether it's forward or backwards on this journey is something to celebrate because you are learning something. And, and sometimes it's not learning something about your business. Like it's learning something about yourself. Yeah. It's learning about how you interact with other people and mm -hmm. how you can kind of transition that and use that in your personal life too. Yeah. Like there's so much that can be learned. So follow, follow your path. Mm -hmm. Don't compare, don't compare to other people's paths. You will figure it out for yourself. And sometimes you can, it's, it's a short path. Sometimes it's a long path, but it's yours. And yes. really, really enjoy that. Yes. It's the biggest piece of advice that I would Well, get. and your personality and what makes you you is what is what people want. Yes. You know? Like that's why they work with you. Exactly. Versus somebody else. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Especially solopreneurs, right? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. So how can we help you or anything that you have coming up you wanted to know about? Um, so actually right now for the month of August, so August is my birthday month, those design in the day VIP days, I'm actually offering $200 off um, as long as you book in August. So as long as you have decided like, hey, like I would like to do this, let me purchase in August. We can go ahead and fill the day throughout the rest of the yeah. year, but you just have to purchase before end of August. Um, it's great. So the design in the days are usually 1200. So that drops it down mm -hmm. to a thousand, which Perfect. is far more, far more affordable and yeah. really easy to make that quick decision. If yeah. you've got projects that need to be done, I am telling you, you will love this. It's very easy. I've got plenty of other clients um, who have really, really enjoyed the process. Plenty who have come back and are like, yeah. hey, like I want to do this again. This was perfect. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that if that's something you're interested in, this is a great opportunity to test it out. You get $200 off and we can get some projects done before the end of the year, especially if you're planning something for maybe the start of next year mm -hmm. and want to get things lined up. Mm -hmm. Great opportunity that way. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's probably my biggest thing. I always I always do branding. If you're needing help with um, whether that be like rebranding your business or wanting to again start that long term relationship, I'm definitely open to having conversations. Um, even if we don't end up working together, I always love meeting new people. So she's a great make, person to talk. Come make a new friend. <laughs> so yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so much, Heather, for yes, taking the time. Yes, thank you. Today. You guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.